The filter function is perhaps one of the best functions in Excel. It is a dynamic array function and it is currently available in Microsoft 365. Guys, the filter function is very useful and versatile. So today I'll show you in simple terms how to filter rows based on a defined condition. And afterwards, I'll compare it to the advanced filter, which is available in all Excel versions. Before we take a look at some examples, I want to thank you all for your support. I would love to get your feedback on this video, so please leave a comment below. Thank you. This table shows a list of property types, location, and year of construction. The goal is to extract a list based on the property specified in H5. I use data validation to create a drop down list and I copied the headers here as well. Now let me explain the filter function. The filter function allows you to extract the information you need based on a defined criteria. And the cool thing is that it updates automatically when the source data changes. It has three arguments array, include, and if empty. Array is the data range to be filtered. Could be an entire table or a column. Include is an array of booleans, which returns true or false. Those who use the sum product function will be familiar with this concept already, but I'll explain in simple terms. For example, I can check if B5 is equal to H5. This is a logical test and it will return true or false when I press enter. It's true because the value in cell B5 is equal to the value in H5. Now I'll try the entire array. B5 to B12 is equal to H5. Enter. Excel has evaluated each row and returned true where it matches the criteria in H5. That's exactly how the include argument works. It simply tests the criteria on the array and returns true or false. If empty is an optional argument where you can specify a value when no results are returned. So let's try the first example. Filter. Array is the entire table excluding the headers. Click to select the table when you see the black diagonal arrow. Include is the array to test the criteria, so select property. When you see the black arrow, click to select the property column. Equals the criteria in H5, comma. If empty, return no result. Use quotation marks for text. Close the bracket. Now, a dynamic array formula can return multiple values, so the result will spill to other cells. Press enter. Now, we have a list of items that match the criteria, and the blue border around it shows you the spill range. If you want to edit or delete the formula, it can only be done in the first cell. If you select another cell in the spill range, the formula will be visible in the formula bar, but there's no text in the cell. If I type a criteria not listed in the source data, instead of returning an error value, it will return the value specified in the if empty argument. No result. I'll undo that. Let me show you how the criteria was evaluated. Press F2 for edit mode. Click on include so it highlights the position in the cell. Then press F9. True, true, false, false. It returned only the rows that are true. Press escape. That's it. Let's move on to the second example. The goal here is to extract the list of property types built after 2010. So filter, the array is not the entire table this time, but column C. Click to select. Include is the array to test the criteria. So select year. Now, instead of using equal to, the logical operator greater than will be used. Then we can select the criteria in H11. Skip the third argument, it's optional. Close the bracket and enter. Now we have a filtered list. How easy was that? 
If you don't have Microsoft 365 subscription, you can use the advanced filter to extract data. The major drawback is that it's static and does not update with new information. I'll use the same criteria we used for the filter function. Click anywhere in the data, go to the data tab, in the sort and filter category, click on advanced filter. A dialog box appears. For action, select copy to another location. The list range is where the items will be extracted, which is the entire table, including the headers. Excel already detected this, so we can leave it. For criteria range, select the criteria, including the header. Copy to is where you specify the destination cell. Click inside the bar and select an empty cell in the active sheet. Advanced filter only extracts to the active sheet. So if you want to extract the list to another sheet, you will have to apply advanced filter from that sheet. Click OK. We have our list. Let's move on to the next example. Extract the list of property types built after 2010. This time, the logical operator greater than will be in the cell, so advanced filter can evaluate it. Go to advanced filter. You can see that Excel remembers the criteria we used for the previous example. Each time you use the advanced filter, Excel stores the criteria and extract range in memory. Let me quickly show you where Excel stores that information. Press escape. Go to formulas and click on name manager. This is the criteria range and this is the extract range. Escape. Let's go back to advanced filter. Select copy to another location. Excel already detected this so we can leave it and this is a criteria range now for copy to all you have to do is to select the name of the column you want returned this implies that the name should match what you have in the source data click ok we have our list i'll add a new property to the list keep your eyes on the filter function because it will update automatically with the new information there However, advanced filter does not update with new information. You have to apply the filter all over again to get an updated list. So if you want a dynamic list, don't use advanced filter. You have to write a formula for that. That's all for today. In the next example, we'll extract specific columns using the filter function and advanced filter. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.